Hey Rusty, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I hope you guys are doing well. I'm back from my little winter break and wanted to share a new tutorial with you guys because it is something very confusing. It looks very kinky. When you follow my social media, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I want to reveal the project right now in this YouTube video for you guys to see what I was actually intended to work on and yeah what i'm actually talking about is this weird looking long something wait i call it the condom but it's actually not a condom but um it is this very weird long sleeve thingy and um i absolutely love it to yeah, joke about it on my social media, but um, what I'm actually doing is a knot pillow. Um, one of those monkey knot pillows. Um, I've seen them so many times on my Pinterest. I've never seen any crochet version of it, so I wanted to be the first one actually. I know there are several versions of just a normal tie pillow where you just tie a knot into a a long sausage pillow but I wanted to do the monkey pillow and for this you need to crochet a six meter long condom now um, yeah I wanted to show you how to do that and take you guys with me on the little tutorial journey so I hope you guys enjoy but before I start right off with the tutorial I wanted to show you something I know I'm not a huge fan of advertising things on any of my uh, channels in this case it is something which is my own my book uh, I've been working the last two years on a book writing down all the projects the patterns that I've done and shared on this YouTube channel to have a book in the end and I'm very very happy that this one is finally out now you can order it from the website you can order it on Amazon it is in German though because Vielleicht haben es noch nicht viele gewusst, aber ich bin Deutsch und kann auch Deutsch reden. But yeah, it's in German and um, it contains several, I think 28 projects of mine that I've done and shared on this YouTube channel. Some of them are like projects that I've never shared on this YouTube channel. You might want to check that out. But without further ado, let's jump right into the tutorial and I'm going to teach you how to do a monkey condom knot. What I wanted to say is a monkey condom pillow knot. No, a monkey knot condom pit. No, a monkey knot pillow, sorry. By the way, did you like my painting? In order to be creative. So, regarding the materials, actually, I'm working with a DK Soft Cotton Yarn by Hooked in the color beige light gray. 14 balls of yarn. And this is suitable for a 4 millimeter hook. And what else you're gonna need is obviously some scissors to cut the yarn, um, a wool needle, and in order to fill it, we're gonna need some cotton filling actually. We start right off with a slip knot, we insert our hook and then we chain up 25. When we've chained up 25, we're gonna connect the last chain with the first chain with a slip stitch in order to create a circle. This is our circle that we need in order to create the tube and that we're gonna use as base in order to continue to grow the tube with our rows. So when we've done that, we chain up two we yarn over, insert the hook into the next stitch, we yarn over, pull the yarn through, we have three loops on our hook, we yarn over and pull the yarn through the first two loops, we yarn over and pull it through the last two loops in order to create and finish up our first double crochet. We're going to continue this for the whole row in order to get 25 double crochets and when we've hit the last stitch we're going to connect the last double crochet with the first two chain up that we've done for the first row and with a slip stitch again. Chain up two, turn our work, start working 25 double crochets into 
the next round. We connect the last double crochet with the first double crochet for round two with a slip stitch and then start working on round three. You're gonna repeat the whole thing, the whole thing for six meters. I have absolutely no clue how much rows this is. Hey Vessi, short little update. Um, I finished the six meter long tube that I'm needing for um, the monkey pillow and let me show you how long this freaking tube is. It's freaking long. <laughs> it looks like a hose. Uh, this is the six meter long tube. It took me forever. I think it, this, this is like the project that I'm working on the longest. I think it's, it's a month now that I'm working on it. And, but it's done. The next step is only um, filling it with cotton, which we're gonna do next. And I'm gonna show you how this works. So let's, let's do that. All right, in order to close the tube, um, I pulled a long end at the end, looking like this. And then I'm gonna cut it just behind the last stitch. And then we just pull it through and that's it. And since we need to have this closed, um, on both sides um, we're gonna close it with our yarn uh, needle wool needle and we just simply weave in the excess yarn into the project in some sort of circle by simply tracing down the last round that we've done and then close it okay when you've done one round you can simply just pull it tight and close it like that so it looks like that and then we're gonna do a couple more rounds and um, it doesn't have to look like very pretty um, it looks like that right now and um, because we're gonna hide the ends in the knot ball anyway so um, they won't be visible in the end and this is how it looks right now comes the filling process and for this I've used actually a tool that helps to stuff it. You can use a broom for it, you can use, I don't know, another stick that you buy or that you find <laughs> on the streets, I don't know. I'm using that, this is more like a mop, this is like a removable stick for the mop and uh, I've removed it and used it just to push down the cotton into the tube. What I did is at first I pushed all the way my, my, my tube onto the stick and when I pushed it all the way I had the end which is closed up on the, on the pointy end of my stick. So what I did is I turned it inside out that end and starting pulling it again and working my cotton into the inside out turned part. Then I removed the stick and worked my way through the tube by turning it inside out and pushing the cotton further down into the tube. What you have to take into consideration to not put too much cotton into the tube because otherwise it will get bulky and very very tight. In order to make the pillow in the end you want to have a very squishy not too much filled up tube. In order to um, even out the cotton um, further down into the tube, I pushed the stick back and forth multiple times in order to, yeah, to even out the cotton into the tube. So when we finished all the long filling the whole tube, we're going to close up the end of it by just simply weaving in the exit yarn and hide it into the project and then we are going to tie it to the monkey knot. In order to tie the monkey knot, it took me a while. So basically what it is, what it helps is to place the excess yarn in front of you. You kneel, kneeling down, do it on a big space, like on the floor, something like that. The one end, the excess yarn is pointing to your knees. Then you're gonna twist it around uh, three times, so you have three um, tubes uh, laying on top of each other uh, in a circle. 
and then you take the tube, bend it and go around all those three tubes three times again by yeah, wiggling it around the other three tubes. When you've done that and wiggled it around three times around the three tubes that you already laid down at the first wiggling process, you're gonna wiggle it three times again in the other direction by uh, looping the rest of the tube into the first three wiggles that we did in the beginning. So you poke it into the first three wiggles, you go around um, the three wiggles that we've just done, we, you poke up again um, through the first three wiggles and then poke down again and you do that three times so you have three like three tubes next to each other on three different levels or three different sides and then you simply hide the excess yarn into it and even out the knot so that's like very very crucial because at the beginning it was like too short so i did not have enough but if you get it to the end that you have enough you can even out everything just adjusting it so it looks pretty nice and neat and then you hide away the first excess of the tube into the project and that should be it. Yeah, that's basically it. And now I'm gonna show you and present you my cool little new pillow. absolutely love it. It looks so cool and it is very squishy. It is pretty big. I absolutely love the size of it. That's like the size that I've imagined it. A little bit bigger than a normal football or something and a normal soccer ball. And then I've never seen those crocheted. So that's like the first one that I've seen crocheted and I'm absolutely obsessed with it. I'm absolutely obsessed with it. It took me a while. Um, this is the project that I think took me the longest, even longer than the carpet that I've done. So this is pretty wild and yeah, that's it. All right, Bessie, that was my little tutorial on, how do you say that? Monkey knot cushion, crochet monkey knot cushion. Um, I really hope you guys liked it and could follow it and are motivated to do it yourself for your homes. Um, I absolutely love the outcome. I can fully recommend it. It's just a long process, but you can do that. I can't wait actually to be back in the next video. Feel free to check me out on all of my social medias. I love you. Yeah, I hope you have a good day, good morning, good night, whenever you're watching this video. And I'll see you soon. Bye-bye, I'm out.